Hello, Shine Running fans. I'm Kevin Reap, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to look at the output that was created when we ran CAPE. As we can see here, if you recall, it took us 128 seconds to go and get forensic goodness regarding evidence of program execution and file information. Uh, in other words, master file table and uh, its associated information. Two minutes. That's it. You don't have time to warm up your coffee. So we're going to go and see what kind of goodness we got. Remember the TDesk folder? This is where uh, it created our, put our target files when it collected stuff. It created it into a virtual hard drive. Let's mount that virtual hard drive and see what we have. Well, we've got a C and when we go in there, there's Windows prefetch remember that's what we wanted to go look at we told it go get prefetch go get app compact cache and then we said go get our mft and our dollar sign files associated with the master file table so it went and got that but not only did it get that for c it got that for volume shadow copies as well and it went and got the prefetch from volume shadow copies two and three as well, it kept a log of everything that it did. So if we open up this very, very verbose copy log file, we can see that it has kept track of everything that it copied out, everything that it did. So now when we, uh, when we go back, let's see what's going on inside our console log file that associated with this. This is just an instruction of everything it did. Everything you saw in the terminal is in this copy log. Now what about our modules? Once we ran the tools against the stuff we got, what did it give us? Well, remember, we ran uh, prefetch CMD and am cache and app compact cache we ran a number of things so prefetch cmd for example it ran and it took the output of the prefetch files and it gave us all of the forensic goodness that we needed here so we have our source file that it grabbed when it was created when it was last modified when it was last accessed it will give us all kinds of things like uh, when it was last run and the previous eight times it was run, the component files of what was run. And we have all of that in one beautiful place for our forensic goodness. What about file system? Remember it went and grabbed the MFT? Well, how big was that? We saw that it took a bit of 441 megabytes was the size of this MFT. And it pulled it out and did all of the other stuff still in under two minutes. So in the next episode, we are going to look at what we can do with this stuff. We're going to take the MFT and we're going to look at what we can see from that perspective. But in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.